Hello everyone, Frank Rotz. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, what we're looking at here is an absolutely, I wasn't expecting it to look this beautiful. This is a Lake Michigan coho fillet. I don't know how much this fish weighed before it was uh, filleted and uh, it's beautiful with that pink and white red meat like that. Just exquisite. Um, I am, I have never cooked coho before, but uh, what I'm gonna do with this is this is my standard baked fish recipe if I've got a little time for prep as opposed to just throwing it on a cookie sheet real quick to bake it up crisp and quick. Um, and it's, it's so darn simple and I've used it, I've used this recipe for uh, so many species of fish. Um, I may as well list them now, I've used it for white fish ocean perch, whiting, cod, farm-raised trout, um, and even on lower temperatures for panfish. And it's filling, but yet it's, it's, it's pretty healthy. So let me get going with it, and I'll show you uh, what I'm gonna do. So that's what it looks like before the seasoning. Uh, some of this may look, look familiar from the other videos I've done. Dill, garlic powder, probably would have been better with some cut. Black pepper, Italian seasoning, paprika. So the good paprika is is definitely recommended. Um, that's from a Kroger. It's a private selection. The best inexpensive. You can't even tell the difference between that and Hungarian. Uh, and then any kind of seasoning, if you like multi-purpose seasoning, or maybe lemon pepper seasoning, that kind of has a lot of salt in it, so I don't really do that. And then garlic powder, like I said, maybe some multi-purpose or Italian seasoning, and you don't have to really add the dill. But we're gonna rub this up, and I'm gonna show you how I do it. It's really, really simple. I actually made a rookie mistake. I forgot to rinse the fish off first, so I rinsed it off and just dabbed it off with a paper towel. So what you see on here is, this actually does have the skin on one side. Um, that's a little bit of butter. I don't know, uh, about a, maybe, quarter of a teaspoon, I don't know. You can kind of see it's kind of big. Um, I think country crock is the healthiest non-butter substitute, but I haven't used that in, I don't know, many years. Um, and then this is just lemon juice. That's it. So extra lemon juice, I just kind of add it because it's my personal thing. Your seasoning all rubbed in on both sides. Um, that aluminum foil is from the dollar store and it is very thin. I had to hack away at it. but. It's like three degrees outside. I'm not gonna make a run for thinner foil. So I'm gonna put foil on the top, poke some holes on top of that, and we're gonna see how this comes out. Usually uh, I do about, check it in like eight minutes just to be on the safe side. Well, there's your finished product with your Lake Michigan coho salmon. Looks absolutely exquisite. Um, I did a pickle and some peppers. Normally I wouldn't add too much salt to it, but uh, I just, I'm getting over a head cold still, and I wanna taste something. Rinse the salt off of the olives, a little Italian dressing on that organic salad. It's cold, I normally would do potatoes, but uh, man, that is just absolutely exquisite. I don't know many restaurants that could do it better than that. So I'm gonna eat this, and uh, thanks for watching uh, Baked Easy uh, Lake Michigan Coho Salmon. So overall for Lake Michigan Coho Salmon, uh, definitely a thumbs up. Perhaps a little cleaner tasting than a bigger salmon or trout if you've had anything bigger out of the Great Lakes. The coal is a little smaller, firm, flaky, and it came out absolutely fantastic. If you could give me a thumbs up, thank you for watching another cooking video. Take care, everyone, and uh, be safe out there for the rest of this winter, which seems like it's just starting to get there. Thank you.